Planning to go in solo in Borderlands 3 and using Sane and just want to sit back, relax and enjoy the ride? Well today I'm going to be showing you this amazing solo build for Sane the Vault Hunter that will have you relaxing and have the cycles of the bandits going insane in the membrane. As of, uh, this is Laserbolt and today guys we're going to be taking a look at the solo build for Sane. And now what we're targeting for this particular build is one we're targeting survivability but the most thing we're targeting is damage. Now out of all the Vault Hunters Sane does a lot of damage after you guys see this build. You guys are going to understand why he does so much damage and where we we're going to be getting that damage from. Plus it's also going to allow us to have a build that it's gonna feel like we're never playing alone, which is always a good thing, right? Now, before I show you the build, I wanna remind you guys about our giveaway. We're giving away two free copies of Borderlands 3 for the system of your choice to enter and participate. It's super easy. All you have to do is click the link down below where it says Join Bold Nation and you guys will be automatically entered. Also, as a friendly reminder, I want to remind you guys if you guys are playing as Amara, Flak, or Moe's, I have builds for those characters as well, so definitely do check them out. I'll link them down below in the description. If you are picking up Borderlands 3, let me know what system you guys are picking out for in the comment section down below. And if you're looking for people to play with or just party up with, definitely check us out over on Discord. We have a Borderlands 3 LFG and it's a fun place to find multiple people who are also picking the game and who are also looking for people to play with. All right, so now it's time for us to dive into this build. So for Sane, we have again 48 points that we have to distribute across different skill trees. But we have a total of three different ones to pick from. We have Undercover. We also have Double Agent, and we also have Hitman. One of the advantages that Sane has over everybody else is that he's able to use two skills while sacrificing his grenades. And when we put this build together, you're not going to be missing out on those grenades. Trust me when I tell you this. So let's decide which uh, skill tree we're going to be picking from. So we have Hitman, Undercover, and we have Double Agent. I think for this particular build, and for us to make the sacrifice of the grenades worthwhile, we're going to go with the Double Agent skill tree. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do of course is select our action skills we're going to go with the digi clone let's equip that in slot number one all right so we're going to get started with column number one the first one we have synchronicity then we have Premunitus, and then we have borrowed time synchronicity what it does is whenever one or more scenes action skills are active he gains increased gun damage which is pretty effective Premunitus, what we have is the clone gains increased magazine size and of course, ball time increases the action skill duration for every action skill. But we're going to max this one out because we definitely want to make sure that our skills are out there as much as they can. And the more time they're out there, the better. So max this out to a total of five. We're going to skip the second one. And we're actually just going to put one point in synchronicity, bringing our gun damage to a plus four. And you could never say no to weapon damage. So that's column number one. Let's take a look at column number two. All right, so let's take a look at column number two. For column number two, guys, we have the Donny Brock. We also have the Fracture Frags. And then we also have the Duct Tape mod. So out of this one, guys, one that we want to prioritize is this one right here, which is the Duct Tape mod. Now, the Duct Tape mod, what it does is the first shot fired from Sane's gun has a chance to also fire a grenade. Remember what I said earlier that we weren't going to be sacrificing our grenades? Well, this is the reason why we're not sacrificing our grenades because our grenades are going to be fired from our gun, which makes it a really good trade-off, right? So let's see how much we're able to get. So we're going to totally max this out to five. So as you guys see right there, once we get to five, it's going to give us up to 20% chance of getting a grenade. And the cooldown is eight seconds. That's a relatively low cooldown if you ask me, and it's a cooldown that... I am willing to take a chance on so duct tape is definitely one to go with all right so the next one we're definitely going to be picking up is the fractal frags now this is a very op one and i think it's something that gets a little bit overlooked on saying on how op he's going to be and how much damage he's going to be outputting because there's going to be so much explosive damage happening around him so Listen to what this does. When you activate your clone, it's going to throw a copy of Saint's current grenade mod. So once the clone is activated, a grenade gets fired out, right? Now, if the clone dies, you're going to drop a grenade. So you'll be able to pick up a grenade. Now, if you kill an enemy with your clone, it gives the clone a chance to throw a grenade. Imagine how many grenades are going to be thrown out in the world. You're going to be shooting grenades. Your clone's going to be throwing grenades. It's going to be explosive all over the world. So we're going to definitely be purchasing that one. The other thing that we're going to be investing our points are, are in the Donnybrock. Now, what does Donnybrock do? It gives you even more damage. But this is where we're going to be getting our health from as well. Because what this is going to do is that every time we kill an enemy... 
our gun is going to receive gun damage and we are also going to gain health regeneration for a few seconds this is a very op one because we're going to be killing a lot of stuff as we're working our way through mobs so we want to make sure that every time we're killing someone we're outputting damage and we're also getting our health back now remember we use the first one which is go which is the synchronicity which gives us 16 plus damage we're going to see how much damage we're going to be able to stack up on here so we're going to go ahead and max this out entirely so gun damage is plus 15 plus our 16 that we already have and our health regeneration is 2.5 of missing health per second and the duration is only eight seconds we're going to be able to tap into this one very often all right so let's continue with our build the next one we have is called quick breather basically what this is going to do is that anytime you swap places with your clone your shield is going to immediately begin recharging this is a really good one because if you're getting shot or if you're getting damaged too much and you need your shields back you just swap places with your clone and you'll automatically be able to recharge your shields now let's take a look at the fourth column and the fifth column and of course we're gonna see where we get that stone so let's start off with the first column so for the first column we have a pocket full of grenades we have uh old you and we have supersonic man so supersonic man what it does is whenever one or more saints actions because they're active he gains increased maximum movement speed this is not really important and you'll see why once we go into more in depth into this build so we're going to skip that one we're going to be investing our points on old you the reason why we're investing our points on this one this is pretty much going to give you a revive if you go down, basically your clone is going to come and revive you and it's going to revive you with full health. It's not going to revive you with partial health. It's going to revive you with full health. This is definitely a must if you're running a solo build. This is why the double agent skill tree is so effective for solo builds because you get a couple of things that are actually very helpful for when you're playing solo. In addition to that, guys, we're also going to be investing our points on pocket full of grenades. Basically what this is going to do once we max it out, it's going to increase our grenade regeneration to 20 seconds and it's going to allow us to actually use this every 8 seconds. Basically what this is going to do is after you kill someone, you're going to be able to regenerate your grenade. So it's actually pretty cool. Every 8 seconds, if you kill someone every 8 seconds, you'll be regenerating your grenade. Now remember, we're still using our ability that if we kill someone with our clone, we're going to be able to get a grenade back. So think about how OP this is already sounding. It's like a bunch of grenades being flown around and tossed around. All right, so now let's move on to the fifth column. Now for the fifth column, we also have three choices, guys. We have Like a Ghost. We have we have Boom Enhanced. And we have Trick of Light. Now Trick of Light, what it does is Sane deals the bonus shock damage to enemies that aren't targeting him. This is good, but we're going to skip this one. We're actually going to go with Boom Enhanced. Whenever Saint summons his clone, it consumes up to three grenades. For every grenade consumed, the clone gains increased gun damage, max health, fire rate, reload speed, and clone duration. So this is going to give us a lot of stuff, guys. It's going to give us gun damage. It's going to give us health. It's going to give us fire rate, reload speed, and it's also going to give us clone duration. So once we purchase this one, our gun damage is plus 20 per grenade. Our max health is 81% per grenade. Our fire rate gets increased by 5% per grenade. Our reload speed gets increased by 31 per grenade. And our clone duration lasts plus 25 seconds per grenade. This is really, really effective since we're going to be using a lot of grenades in this double agent tree. And as you guys see, not only is our clone firing the grenades, our weapon is firing grenades. And it's pretty much just going to be grenade central. The other thing we're going to be putting our points on is like a ghost. What like a ghost does is it just allows the clone to ignore the bullets. And this is actually gets procced every time you activate your action skill. So we're going to increase that to three more points. And it's going to ignore the bullets at a 6% chance. It's going to give it a additional ignore bullet chance for plus nine and you have a duration of eight seconds which is not that bad it's actually a pretty good one because you know you want your clone as active as you can and we're going to be using it to not only do a lot of damage but you know spit out a lot of grenades remember we have the perk which is the duct tape one that allows us to you know shoot a grenade when we are firing a weapon so we use weapons that have very low amount of ammo for example a pistol or we use a shotgun that has a very low amount of ammo we're going to be shooting a lot of grenades out so think about it guys think about the possibilities that you're able to do this if you have a rocket with only two bullets not only will you shoot out a rocket but you also will be shooting a grenade 
and it makes it very effective. So keep that in mind, guys. When you're running with Sane, have a weapon that has a little bit amount of bullets so you'll be able to proc the duct tape action as much as you can. The reason why I mentioned this is because the next thing we're going to be investing our points on is the double barrel. Basically, double barrel, what it does, it gives a copy of Saint's current weapon. It gives it to the clone. So think about it this way. Let's say you have a rocket launcher with two bullets, right? And you are firing a grenade, firing your two rockets every single time. And you go ahead and pop your clone. Your clone is going to be doing the same thing. Think about it, guys. Just think about all the explosiveness happening right at that moment. When your clone is shooting the rocket, lobbing a grenade, shooting a rocket, lobbing a grenade, while you're doing the same thing, it's just pretty much mayhem. They weren't wrong. Mayhem is happening with this same build. Now, before we continue the build, we need to pick up our augments here before we move on to the other skill tree that we're going to be using. And we have a couple ones to pick from. Of course, we have the binary system. Basically, what this is going to do is that anytime you swap places with your clone, it's going to create a Cairo Nova gets triggered every single time he swaps places with his clone. Then we have the next one, which is called Shadden Froda. Basically, what this does is anytime that your clone takes damage, it's going to restore Saint's shield by the portion of the damage that's been taken from the clone. Actually, a really good one to have here. And the last one we have is we have Banger. Basically, what this is going to do, anytime that the action skill is ended, basically the clone will explode and deal splash damage to nearby enemies. Out of all of this one's definitely going to have to go with the Shadden Froda. Not only does it have a really cool name, but it's the best one out of all the ones that I could pick from here. Because it's going to give us a little bit more survivability as our clone is getting shot we're going to get our health restored. So we're going to cut this in slot number one. Now for the right hand side, we have the following. It says, which one is real? Basically what this is does, it says enemies are more likely to target your clone for a few seconds after it's summoned and after swapping places. The next one we have is digital distribution. It says if Saint takes health damage while the clone is active, a portion of the damage is shared to his clone instead. Now I had a hard choice picking one from the other one because both of them seem pretty good i was leading a little bit to which one's real a little bit more but when i kind of read the fire print when it says a few seconds after it's summoned i said only four seconds so it's only going to be shooting it for four seconds it's not really that much of an advantage so i decided to go with digital distribution because that's going to be happening every single time that you know my clone is active and of course it's going to give me that extra survivability so we're going to equip this in slot number two all right so now to the side the other skill tree we're gonna go with now we have hitman and we also have undercover undercover sounded like a good idea but i said nah you know what we might as well go with a build that's going to give us a good amount of damage good amount of survivability that has perfect synergy and i think hitman is the way to go so what first we're going to do right here of course is equip our sentinel we're going to go ahead and equip that one right there into our action skill this pretty much gives us a drone with a machine gun what else can we ask for guys that's pretty op Let's start off with column number one, guys. For column number one, we have the first one, which is called Violent Speed. After killing an enemy, Saint gains increased movement speed for a few seconds. We have Cold Bore, which is uh, Saint gains increased weapon swap speed. And then we have Violent Momentum. Saint gun damage is increased while moving. The quicker he moves, the greater the gun damage bonus is. Yes, guys, we are going to go with Violent Momentum. We definitely want to make sure we're tapping into that gun damage. And remember, we're going to be moving quite often with Sane. So we're going to spend four points on this one, bringing our gun damage to plus 16. We're also going to be spending a total of two points into the Cold Borb. This is going to allow us to do is that every time we swap a weapon, we're going to be able to output bonus Cairo damage. And one thing we know is that Cairo damage is pretty OP in this game. And anytime you can freeze an enemy, it's definitely a win-win for me. So we're going to spend two points. Next up, we're going to go over to column number two. For column number two, we have Cold Hand, which is basically just gives us increased reload speed. We have Drone Delivery, and we have Salvation. Definitely, we're going to want to max out Salvation. What Salvation does, it's going to give us Lifesteal, and it's going to give us Lifesteal of 10% of damage dealt if we max it out. So definitely, this is a plus in my book. We're also going to be doing Drone Delivery. We're going to be investing that one point in it because we'll occasionally drop a free grenade based on Saint's current grenade mod. This is actually really effective because if you guys remember the, what we did on the previous skill tree, we were getting a lot of grenades. And anytime we get more grenades, the better. We're going to be doing a lot of damage with these nades. And then we're going to be investing two points on cold hand. Of course, that reload speed is always going to be beneficial. So we want to make sure we have it, then not have it at all. So it's going to be pretty effective. Moving along, we're also going to be investing a point on death follows close. 
All same kill skills gain increased effect and duration. Pretty effective. Of course, we want to spend our points on there. We're going to be moving to Violent Violence. And what this one does is, is after killing an enemy, same gains increased fire rate for a few seconds. And that's going to be very beneficial to us because remember, we're going to be wanting that grenade proc. So we're running something like an assault rifle or a, a LMG. We want to make sure that we're wasting the clips as much as we can so we could be launching that grenade. So this is a pretty good effective way to go about it. And using that, we're going to be spending two points on this one and then we're going to be spending three points on playing dirty kill skills after killing an enemy saints next five shots i'll have a chance to fire an additional projectile really effective guys this is going to be going perfect with the duct tape ability we picked up on the other skill tree and the last point guys we're spending it on good misfortune kill skills killing an enemy increases same action skill duration and skills have diminished return this is really good because the longer our skills are active the better we're gonna be now it's time to pick our augment so on the left hand side we have a couple ones we have winter drone it converts your sentinel primary weapon to chiro damage and then we have a uh, bad dose it pretty much occasionally shoots out a beam of radiation and weakens enemies but it also buffs sane this is actually a pretty interesting one and then we have the other one which is called bums day it pretty much adds rocket pots to your primary weapon allowing you to shoot rockets as well as a machine gun really interesting as well guys now one that i for sure want to make sure i pick up of course is this one winter's jones so i'm going to equip that in slot number one I'm a little bit undecided in the sense of which ones I should slot in number two. And I'll let you guys know which ones are the ones I'm looking at. So the, on the right hand side, we have static field. Basically, it's going to emit a static field that sends shock beams to nearby enemies, draining their shield and replenishing saints. Pretty interesting one for survivability. And then we have another one called Almighty Ordinance. It's going to deploy a missile barrage at a target area. The thing is that you have to actually target that area. And the neat feature about this one is that if an enemy is killed within that missile barrage, you're going to be able to reset the Sentinel's duration, which makes it pretty interesting. So the two ones I'm kind of iffy about is I want to make sure Bombs Day, that one's actually pretty cool because I could be firing a Cairo and freezing enemies and also shooting missiles at them at the same time. Or what I could do is I could freeze enemies with the Cairo and then call in the Almighty Ordinance to kill the enemies and get my duration back. I think I'm going to go with Almighty Ordinance. I think that's going to fare perfectly. The synergy on there is perfect. Freeze the enemy, send out the Ordinance, and destroy everybody that's completely frozen. And there you guys have it. This is the best sane build for solo players. Now, I also have builds for Amara, Moe's, and of course our boy Flax. So if you guys are interested in, definitely do check them out. I will have multiple builds for different playstyles as well. So make sure you guys keep it locked in this channel if you guys are going to be playing Borderlands 3. In addition to that, guys, if you're trying to find people to play with, definitely check out our Discord. We have a ton of other people who are like-minded individuals who you're definitely going to want to meet and maybe hop into a game and play with them as well. I'll leave the link down below in the pinned comments. I do hope you did enjoy this video and found it helpful and informative. If you did, do me the huge favor, guys. Drop a like on this video. Share this video with your friends because that does help us a lot. In addition to that, guys, if you want to show more love and support and tap into cool, amazing emotes to consider joining the bold nation to join it super easy all you got to do is click the link down below where it says join bold nation and you guys will be unlocking exclusive features only found in the channel thank you guys for watching and don't forget wgatap and i will catch you guys on the next video